Boy, it has been a busy weather day across southern New England, especially as you go into south central Massachusetts and northeast Connecticut, where we do have two confirmed tornadoes, the first of which actually crossed into Massachusetts and formed what eventually made impact to the town of Webster. By 10 a.m., this tight circulation right here was crossing over 395 downtown Webster, tearing off roofs of buildings, doing impacts uh, to the downtown area, finally moving to the northeast on its way towards Sutton. But the good thing is it finally lifted before it actually made impact to Sutton. Now, the two confirmed tornadoes that I mentioned, the first one being in Woodstock, Connecticut, very, uh, very short. The path, only one block and the width of it 24 feet wide. So not a big tornado. Uh, damage to cornfields. We're still waiting on some of the stats, if you will, on the tornado that went through Dudley Webster on its way into Sutton. Uh, we'll have those as soon as the National Weather Service releases this. We have had quite a year here in New England for tornadoes. We had three in New Hampshire, three in Massachusetts, and three and six in Connecticut. When you add all those up, that comes to 12 well above the average for a typical season and compare that to the heart of Tornado Alley in Oklahoma. 12 for Oklahoma too. So we're right on par for Oklahoma. Nationally tornado numbers are down for New England. Those numbers are well above average for this year. Our satellite and radar still picks up on some of these showers, even severe storms as you go into the Cape and the islands. We do have another line of storms out into Worcester County and into Western Mass. And then even another line that's dropping in from uh, the Lake George area into southern Vermont. That is also going to try to make its way towards us, though. I think as we go later and later in the day, the severe threat gets less and less and less. The best chance for any severe weather is going to be right along the South Shore, the Cape and the islands with the chance of maybe a uh, water water spout forming and eventually maybe coming ashore. But overall, we do start to see quite a bit of clearing heading into this evening. That's the good thing. And then tomorrow, we do have a lot of sunshine. In fact, our hour by hour shows us some of the storms as you go into the afternoon and evening. Some of these right off the Cape, the South Shore, the islands. But seeing some of those sprinkles finally dry up as we go into the, the later hours. In fact, let me back this up and run this through. By 7.30, starting to see some clearing. And then look at that, by 9, 10 o'clock, we're seeing some stars out in the sky. It's going to be a pretty decent night clarity wise but the temperatures will still remain pretty mild waking up with some sunshine throughout the day on sunday keeping that in the forecast all day sunday and into part of the day on monday with no issues in the weather department low temperatures tonight falling into the 60s to near 70 degrees boston actually running this streak of above 70 degree days for overnight lows not the type of streak that you really want to see and tomorrow we're back to near 90 hot and a bit humid especially as you go a little bit inland a lot of sunshine though along the way with really no weather issues. That'll be the good thing with some of the damage that we've seen in the Webster area. They're going to be able to do a little cleanup with uh, no rain that they're going to have to contend with. So 68 to 70 to a little bit uh, more humid as you go to the north. Still a bit sticky, but not as bad as what we'll see Monday and Tuesday. Starting to up those dew points, heading into the middle of the week. By Monday, 11 p.m., the dew points on the rise. And then Tuesday, we do introduce a chance for maybe a couple of showers and storms. So our uh, early morning, early uh, forecast looks like this. By Wednesday, that front approaches. We do have some showers and storms in the forecast for Wednesday and Thursday. But look at this stretch, 90 Sunday, 94 Monday, 95 on Tuesday, we do introduce those storm chances for Wednesday and Thursday. We're back into the middle 80s for Friday. The good thing is we're breaking out of that sort of daily downpour sort of pattern that we've been in. Uh, next couple of days, not too shabby with temperatures in the 90s.